Welcome back! Alright, Cameron got back to this point, so this is where we're starting it off at. Alright, we're gonna see if we can't cut... Oh, shit. And we're gonna see if we can't stop his little trick of getting his health back. Oh, thank God. Great job, Cameron. And now that I know I still have to attack the clock, I'm gonna do what I can to get back to that clock and lay on the attacks. Oh, crap. About to say I'm stuck in the combo. Not the combo! Yeah. Oh, wow. Is there, like, nothing I can do? I don't know. No, you should be- you gotta stop it, because otherwise it'll just reset the fight to a certain point. But yeah, when those combos start flying, uh, there is jack all I can do. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's like all the other Xehanorts trying to help him. I have no idea, I just know it's annoying. Mm -hmm. I have no idea, I just know it annoys the fuck out of me. <laughs> And that kind of sums up the world of politics, really. I don't fully understand. I just know it pisses me off. Yeah. Ain't that the truth, Cameron? Ah, damn it! You get only dodged you got, so much. You got, you got heal. There you go. Get down. Oh frick! About to say, I don't know if it's worth trying to get back up here. It is. You'll end the game. Or it'll end me. Yeah, one of those two. See, he kept. He, I cannot plan for these moves. He keeps changing them up. He's smart. I know. Okay, come on. No, no. Not when I was that close. Oh! You've got to be kidding me. How far back are we? He's only at like two bars of hell, I think. Yep, two bars. Okay. Well, even less than, like, he's not full two bars. So it's not the end of the world, but he's yeah. still an annoying prick. Alright, guys, we can do this. We can get past his spells. Yep. He has stop and ice spells. Brutal combination, let me tell you. Oh, he's up the tempo. Yep. It's like each time you lose, it it's like there's a glitch to increase the difficulty. Each time you lose, it's like, well, they're gonna learn how to beat him somehow! <laughs> Okay, buddy. It's okay. Just gave you some time. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Does that, uh... Alright. Oh, no, you don't. Nice job. All okay. right, Sora, I uh, need your help here. Mm -hmm. Power of friendship. Come on, people. Friendship, <laughs> friendship, friendship. Hey, don't attack him just yet. It's not active uh, at the moment. I didn't realize it was. Oh, there you go. It's weaker now. Oh my god. Just stop it, people. There we go, there we go. That's kind of an interesting gimmick. It's made to be, like, nearly impossible to beat the clock the first time. So, it's weaker the second go-around. So, it's kind of like this is the full boss fight. Yeah. Oh my god, that sucked. Cameron. That sucked more than Ansem. Cameron, great job. Because guess what? You okay, Riku? Yeah. I think you just beat Thanks, it. Thanks, Mickey. We may have, we may have just beaten Kingdom Hearts. So, Dream Drop Distance. Dream Drop Distance, yes. Kingdom Hearts 3 is still not out yet, the dicks. But, we're going to... We were right 
We're going to uh, uh, fa oh, just finish watching the rest of this. All of this was that decided. old bastard. My twelve selves would welcome me here on this day, and I would return <laughs> a complete person. It is the really? Now you're a complete person that you're yeah. split into 12, 13 different parts? I mean, how many times were you beaten in birth by sleep, buddy? I wouldn't say you're a complete person, but... was a gift from an unseen land by the name of Kingdom Hearts. Is that what they believed? I mean, you look old enough to know. Mm-hmm. Okay, we see, like, the different ages of Xehanort. We see Master Xehanort. I'm curious what the other versions of them look like. I'm curious as well. Because he's only part Xehanort. Yeah, so like, as it said before, he was going to split 13 pieces of his heart into the other organization members so they all could be Xehanort for his and master he plan. Could, and he could be the 13 pieces of darkness. Mm-hmm. That's, de that's destined to fight the seven lights, basically. Mm-hmm. Yep, you did, and you fucked that up too, pal. Yep, poor Ventus. In my eagerness, I had lost sight of the correct way. Look at the way he is sitting. I know. That is such the shit eater I am better than you sit. Mm-hmm. What you did back then, your mistakes, changed the destinies of three of my friends. Which begs the question, how old are all of you? Apparently not, they only happened a couple of years ago. The way they're talking, because, like, we clearly saw that, um, they, that, uh, Sora, Riku, and Kairi were little kids. Yeah. When all that shit happened. So, it's been at most, what, eight years? Ten years. Ten years? Yeah, it's been ten years. So, all this crap went down ten years ago, and it's just now catching up to all of them. Mm-hmm. Yes. They were all my doing. Sure so, they so were. He was beh behind all of Kingdom Hearts 1. Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, 365, and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Birth by Sleep, Chain of Memories. This well, actually, was all his fault. Well, maybe not. Oh, well, yeah, Chain of Memories is. Well, I, I think Chain of Memories is more of a group that decided to span from Master Xehanort. Well, they were the failed members of, of Organization 13, weren't they? Yeah, they were, but they. Mar Lucia, who's the leader of that group, uh, who's the final boss in Chain of Memories, he. Um, what wanted to break away from the organization, star his own basically. It's what I remember. So yeah, the entire reason he started thir Organization Thirteen was to find the thirteen vessels that he wanted to use. Yeah. So they were the failed ones because they broke off. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. That's right. The seventh would be. That means the thirteen seekers of darkness. Okay, Mickey. Finish a thought. Yeah, please finish your your sentences. Yeah, because um yeah, because you're you're really trying to uh, piece everything together, but you're not finishing your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And on that day, it is called. Oh, oh, he's standing in his chair. First, the thirteen darknesses shall be united. All the seats have been filled. And now... Ah, uh, not quite. Bear my heart like the rest. Can you even really say you have a heart anymore? <laughs> I don't think it qualifies. Oh, look, Sora's going up the Organization 13 ladder. Oh! Okay, seriously, what is it with all these badass mothers just suddenly getting the nerve to do shit? I know, right?
And again, can you really qualify wait, wait. a heart <gasps> if you... He made it! This seat is mine. Ah, yay. The name's Axel. Lee. Please. The name's <laughs> Lee. Got it memorized. You're not supposed yep, to be. Yep, he's there again. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. Be there to get my friends back. What? Bad timing. You had your perfect. <laughs> no, great timing. <laughs> But you kind of forgot to write the sequel. Now, let's find out what happened. Well, if that isn't a bit of meta criticism. I know, right? <laughs> you had the script, but you forgot to write the sequel. So now you're just kind of filling in all the other parts, aren't yeah, yeah. you? Oh, do you re recognize that weapon? Isa. Wasn't he the one that first bore the. Uh, Title of wannabe Zemnis, or was he the assistant to Zemnis? Yeah, he was basically Zemnis' as number two, in a way. But um, he and Axel were, Isa and Lee were friends. You actually meet those two in Birth by Sleep and uh, and at Radiant Garden. And I feel bad because he actually said, "Oh, fine, Axel." Yeah. If that'll get you all to shut up. Oh, Jesus. Wow, a perfectly executed landing, boys. I know, right? Sure, just take the W, Donald. Just take the win and walk away. Because I think they're now... Oh, yeah, they're out of time, so they're all disappearing. We must all return when we Oh, look, I guess you have to go back to plan, what, W at this point? Plan T? Because all your other quote-unquote plans seem to keep falling through, so what other thing have you quote-unquote planned for? See, this is what I don't get. He's saying that the seven lights and darknesses are supposed to join together and it's faded, but it sounds like he was purposely trying to test fate anyway. But then he's just like, oh, well, I guess it didn't happen today. But you know what? It's going to happen. Trust me. It definitely going to happen. Yeah, that. see, that, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I don't understand these, like, master planners who say, like, oh, uh, this is, um... Okay, I don't think we need an intro for this Yeah, one. this is this is kind of, um... What's the word? Superfluous. Yeah. Unnecessary. Uh, yeah, uh, you're, you're pretty much... I, I dislike the whole, oh, I've planned, planned around your plan for this plan. Yeah. No! You didn't. You're tempting fate each and every time, and every time it doesn't work, you're like, oh, I expected this. Aww, mm -hmm. Don't tell me your heart's sleeping, too. No, Mickey. No, no I've heard so much about rigor mortis, I thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> Your mark of mastery exam. You were to unlock seven sleeping keyholes. By doing yeah. that, you would awaken those worlds from their prison of slumber. And also acquire yeah. the power to free a heart from its sleep. Riku, you unlocked those keyholes within Sora's dreams. Therefore, it stands to reason that you now have the power to awaken Sora. But it was all in his head! Um, so, they explained this, I think we talked over it, but, um, Riku was in Sora's dreams while Sora was, like, drifting more asleep into the darkness by the organization or something like that. No, I caught that part. Okay. And perhaps you may even succeed, Mickey, but there is no denying Riku stands the better chance, having dived into Sora's heart as long as he has. Fan fiction writers, I need that to become a euphemism. Yep. We are going to make it happen. Mickey. 
I really appreciate it. But but Sora's my bitch. I'll go wake Sora up. Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Whoa, we're just gonna throw it out there, okay? Here we are trying to be subtle. Nope, I'm not gonna be subtle about it. Fan fiction writers get on this, or no, that's my weave. You pay for his ass. We're trying to be subtle about it. You just haul off and go, he's my bitch. Yep, yep, I'm gonna do it. I owned his ass on Destiny Island when we were kids. And now I will own his ass. Sora saved me once. And I heard him call my name. No, you didn't. You were so brainwashed it qualified as a washing machine. Even in the darkness, you can reach him. All you gotta do. Wow, okay. You're just amusing yourself right now, aren't you? No, but your reaction kind of got me. Okay. <laughs> of just the, just that quiet. Of like, Dark I don't want to laugh at that, but I kind of do. Guys, thank you. So Guys, thank you. Back. I appreciate the intervention, but uh, I'm gonna take this one, okay? Oh, hey, Have you fun. and Sid, you actually stood up for once. <laughs> You have legs! Congratulations! Holy fuck! I thought you were just a torso on that chair. Whoa! Um... Wow! Kinda says something when all the uh, Link portals that we saw at were uh, pink and that one's black. Yeah. That's coal. So, Cameron, I lied. I'm going to punch you. So, oh, what? Yep. It's tag 30 Sauras? Yep, tag 30 Sauras. So, uh, I want you to pause it here. And we'll continue this next time on 8-Bit Players. Hopefully the final episode. Later, everyone.